Hey guys, Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire, and thanks for following along today as we are going to be walking through a primitive bow build with nothing but Stone Age tools and Stone Age technology. And then, in true Hunt Primitive fashion, we'll be taking that bow out to South Florida to do some wild pig hunts. So make sure you're following along. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, do please consider subscribing. This is another one of our short build and hunt videos, like we have so many other popular ones that came before this. Now if you're looking for the full version of how to build this bow with Stone Age tools and technology, I will drop that link down in the description. That's about a two hour long video free right here on YouTube and you can watch the whole process of how I built this bow with nothing but Stone Age tools. But in this one we're just going to work through the build fast so you can see how it goes and then we're going to kick on out and get some hog hunting done. So now always keep in mind that all the hunts that we do here at Hunt Primitive are for food, hide, resources, entertainment, education, 
and data collection, essentially making the most out of every single animal and every single resource that we can get. We come from a proud hunting heritage, and we also live in high animal populations with renewable wildlife resources. So follow along and let's go do some pig hunting.
about as dead as they get right there. That's about as dead as they get right there. Oh yes, the point's still on it. Not even broke loose from the pitch. Busted my arrow though. Good pass through on that. Not a huge pig. Let's drag it out where the sunlight's a little bit better. Good shot. Stone Age bow. When y'all see me do the video that I made it with nothing but Stone Age tools and Stone Age technology. And although it's not a big large pig, remember the study is more focused on, these are feral, you know, and, and introduced invasive here, but it's a good representation of the size of a deer. So actually you're talking about body size. Uh, it's about the size of a normal Florida doe, even though they obviously stand much shorter because their legs are shorter. But Put it right, I mean, smack on the shoulder, right there. I mean, right on it. Now it missed the shoulder blade, of course. Shoulder blade is up here, but it missed it by, I mean, literally there's the bone right where this is. That's gonna go right through the heart. And then it came out back here. So we just completely took out, oh, definitely the heart, but probably lung in there too. So like I said, Stone Age bow, sinew, string, and then that arrow, I mark all these now for the study that we're doing. This is four, this was actually a heavier one. It's a 462 grain, but that point is one of the, like the classic Cahokia style. And that point is either 32 or 34 grains. I got two that look pretty much the same. So I got all that information written down. We're gonna fill out one of our uh, data collection forms on this one. And uh, it's still early. So we're gonna drag this one off into the shade we go see if we can get another one. We're going to stockpile a little bit of meat this weekend, if we can, while we're collecting data. All right, thanks for following along with us today, and we really hope you liked the film. And remember, if you want to watch the full version of the Primitive Bow Build, go ahead and you can check that link down in the description. That's probably one of those ones that you want to stream on your TV and watch it like a movie because it is awfully long, but it is very detailed in information on how to make a bow with Stone Age tools and technology. So again, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next hunting adventure.